Today I've been working on splitting single pair of diddle diddles up between uh, the hands and the bass drum and using those as a fill. So to start with, let's just take a look at a single pair of diddle diddle just played on the snare drum. Here is the sticking for that. It is right, left, right, right, left, left. And uh, you'll usually see that notated as a six tuplet. So this rudiment is usually performed uh, by accenting the first note of each grouping. And that's the way it's, uh, you'll see it notated. That's the way I'm performing it today. Today I've been working on substituting the fifth partial of the grouping with bass drum. So broken down slowly, it's right, left, right, right, bass drum, left, and then the following beat. Finishes with the right hand. Let's take a look at that slowly, play it all on the snare except bass drum on the fifth partial. Once we feel good about that pattern now, uh, we are then going to use it as a fill. So I'll play one measure of 4-4 four, four tom and then I'll play a full measure of 4-4 four, four tom using those six tuplet single pair of diddle diddles with the bass drum in place of the snare on the fifth partial. The next step is to take that same idea and now move it down the toms. So now comes really the one of my favorite parts and that is getting to separate and play whatever drums you want, whatever cymbals, but you're using the sticking and that same that same pattern with the bass drum on the fifth partial. Next up, I'm going to sequence through everything we just uh, went through, and then after that, I'm going to open it up and play more soloistic nature. And uh, the only rule there at that point is then at some point within my phrasing, I'm going to try to get that new pattern uh, worked in there. So now we're going to increase the tempo, uh, 20 clicks, run through the same sequence. <laughs> 